So this is the wig after I washed it and let it air dry for a couple hours. I'm just going to put it on and I'm going to fluff up the curls a little bit. You don't have to wash your wig when you first get it. I personally just like to wash mine just to get it looking like how I want it to look exactly. Um, the lace is like so good on this wig. Look at the lace. I'm going to tighten this elastic band a little bit before I put it on so I don't have to struggle too much with trying to tighten it while it's on my head. These little grips on there sometimes give me a little trouble when I'm trying to tighten it. So that should be good. If not, I'll adjust it. Now I'm going to just go in and kind of break up this cast that is on the hair from the mousse, from it drying with mousse in it. I kind of fluff it up a little bit so it's not so... So I actually think I kind of want to take my diffuser and see if I can get a little bit bigger without messing up the curl pattern too much. So let me just try that and see what we get. Okay, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love this. I think it's so pretty and so natural looking. I just love a good short curly wig that looks like it could be your hair. Absolutely love it. The curl pattern is a perfect. I was a little bit worried about the curl pattern before I washed the wig because it was like even like wavy. Once I wet it and washed it, the curls definitely popped through. And I'm so excited. This hair is so soft. I think this wig just looks so pretty and I think it complements my face very, very well, if I do say so myself. But <laughs> I just think this is so pretty and so natural looking. The hair is so full, 250% density. Do y'all see? Y'all see the y'all see the 250% density, right? Like it's so full. Oh, 
and I love that it doesn't have like little straggly ends. It's full from the top to the bottom. Love it. I think this wig would eat, eat with layers. Like if I went in and cut it a bit and gave it like the little curly cut, but I wanted to leave it how it comes so you guys can see exactly what you'll get if you order from Wiggins. I might have to wear it for a couple days. She's so cute. I love it. I love how the lace blends in. I did put a little bit of makeup on it just to help it out. Love and wigs not only have great hair, but the lace is great as well. Like, that's a great, that's like the best combo when it comes to wigs. Great hair, great lace. Like, the fact that this wig is a ready to go wig, it's pre-plucked, pre-bleached. It, like, there's literally nothing for you to do except for wash it if you want to. I feel like this wig would be so effortless. Like, you'll probably have to treat it like your natural hair and just kind of touch it up. But the fact that I could take this off and put it back on in the morning, it's super comfortable. The wig doesn't feel heavy or hot on my head. My hair feels like it's it can breathe. Like when wigs feel like they're suffocating me, like on top of my head, I don't like that feeling because it makes you just want to snatch it off. I wanted to show you guys that it's for sure glueless, but I don't know where my rat tail comb is, so we're just gonna do a little lifty lift, and y'all see. There's no glue on this wig, so she's on there. And if I shake my head a little bit, she's not going anywhere, okay? I have the direct link to this wig in the description box if you guys want to check out Wiggins hair. I think it's definitely top notch and I absolutely love it. I give this wig a 10 out of 10. Honestly, a 10 out of 10. Whenever I do finally add some layers to it, if I decide to, she's going to be a 20 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know if you like how this wig turned out below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.